Transnational lists in the European Union are a long-held dream that have not turned into reality. Citizens of the 27 member countries will choose only among their country's candidates, as it has always been in the upcoming June European elections. But some parties will like to change this rule. I think many citizens are actually quite excited by the idea, but it has been blocked by national politicians who were not excited by the idea that citizens could actually themselves choose from European candidates. Uh, but I'm sure it's the future. It will come. If it's not in 2024, then 2029. <laughs> In 2022, the European Parliament approved to establish a transnational college, electing a group of 28 MEPs of different nationalities based on the votes of all European citizens. But EU governments did not accept the push. Now, the Volt Party, which presents the same electoral program in 16 different countries, is setting up a symbolic transnational list. This list that we're forming is not really going to be able to run. However, for us, it was very important to put it out as a symbol of the kind of Europe we want to see. And in fact, you will notice that in our list, uh, we uh, also foresee candidates from Albania, which is um, a, not a member state, but it's a candidate to become. Transnational lists are seen as a way to create a political debate and competition at a European level instead of 27 different ones. For this reason, they face strong opposition from nationalist and sovereignist parties, which are on the rise in the European elections as popularity for the far right surges.